Hi, I'm Anthony at JJ Cookson. I'm going to be showing you around this 2008 GT line and what main features come along with it. So first thing we've got the alloy wheels, got your rear tinted windows as you can see there. Coming on the back, you do get your rear parking sensors across the bottom of the bumper. I'll quickly show you the boot size. As you can see there you do get a good boot it does also come with a flat bottom as well which makes it much easier for you to get things in and out which is good. We we'll can show you the interior design. Come on the front, as you can see, you do get your fog lights at the bottom, which are very useful. I'll show you what features come on the inside now. So the first thing you can see on the touch screen here is you do have your digital radio, which is good, because it means you can listen to a wider range of radio stations, and it does also come with Bluetooth. So if you wanted to listen to your own music, you do have that option as well. And if you press menu, in the bottom left corner as you see there, you can get your radio there, as you can see. And if you look underneath, it does come with a sat-nav as well, which is a very useful feature. As you come down, as you can see, you've got your climate control. So you can change the temperature of the driver's side, and you can do the same for the passenger side as well. This button on the far left is where you want your air to be blowing. And it's these two in the middle, your fan power, you've got your aircon as well. You can see on the right you do have your USB slot, which is good because it means you've got access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it does also mean you can charge your phone while you're driving. And if you look on the left, you do have a 12 volt socket there as well. Look down as you can see you've got two drink holders and a bit of extra space to put your phone and any other items you might need to put in there as well. As you can see you do get your grip control. So, if you're driving on tarmac, you'd mostly have it on that setting. Spin it round if it started snowing, you'd have it on that one. If you were on mud, if you were on sand, as you can see, you can turn it off as well. If you look up, you do get your glass roof, which is a very nice feature. If you wanted to close up the electric blind, you'd simply just press this button next to the handbrake, as you can see. And if you wanted to open it back up again, Simply just do the opposite. Another feature, just need to switch the engine on. If you put the car into reverse, as you can see there, you do have a reversing camera which is very useful. It means you can clearly see what's behind you while you're reversing and it can help you up with parking up for example. Thank you for watching. If you need any further information, Give us a call or drop us an email.